What's going on, everybody? Kevin Dwayne here. Look how fucking big my finger looks on here. That's crazy. Eh, whatever. But uh, thank you guys for following me on Twitter. Uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, it's the world of Kevin. Um, I appreciate all the nice things you guys have said about my video and my website. Thank you for visiting my website. I'm still pushing more content to it. Still trying to tweet relevant things because some people tweet about some bullshit like i could care less about some of the things people tweet about like seriously what you have for lunch and dinner is really just i just don't care i, I really don't it's, just, it's stupid but thank everybody for watching the videos and especially the one about the barber that seems to be a popular one but it's very true um more videos will be coming soon i'm trying to create kind of a hodgepodge of a video. I want to do longer clips, like 20 and 30 minutes, and kind of create like a online show, if you will. I'm also collaborating with uh, Calvin Brownlee of Spill It, and hopefully in the future we'll do some stuff with that as well. But um, I haven't given up completely on video blogging. I actually like video blogging. I like saying humorous things and like having you guys, you know, relate to me and create discussions and stuff like that. It's just that I've been so damn busy, like just working and, you know, I have a nine to five or more or less a 10 to seven. So having that in the middle of the day just makes it hard for me to really, you know, focus on editing videos and recording it. But more will come and I hope that I can just, you know, do it more often. Maybe I did like one every day. You just talk about bullshit in my day. But then again, mm, I would get bored of myself, so nah, I'm cool on that shit too. I can't do that either, but you know, whatever. But before I leave you today, something I want to talk about was this. Okay, those of you who are looking to date and you know looking to find that person, please give what you want to get. I'm just so I just laugh at people who are always like who have these high demands, but they ain't got shit. Like, okay, you live at home with your mom, you don't have a job, you don't have a car, you don't do anything. All you do is go to the gym and work out, but then you want somebody with, you know, a job with benefits, a 401k, a Mercedes Benz, you know, a house in the hill, blah, 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 blah. It's like, how the fuck does that even work? Like, you ain't got shit at all. Like, you're coming to a relationship with nothing. You come to a relationship with three pennies. What are you going to do with that? Like, seriously, please give what you want to get. It's that simple. Or at least have something. At least be working on it. But don't just sell your ass and expect looks to work out because looks fade. And if you have nothing else after looks, it's just, what the fuck are you going to do with that? Like, an ass only lasts for so long. People will have sex with you until they're done with you. And then once that fades, you're out the door. So you're just going to get used. I guess you're using to get used. And that's just how it goes. But give what you want to get. That simple. And... Yeah, be realistic about yours. Be realistic and try not to be so shallow. Look for somebody that you can actually vibe with, that you have something in common with. Like, it's not always about, you know, the superficial stuff, you know? And if you want a relationship to last, it needs to be deeper than that because a rich person can lose their job in a day and that's just over. Lose all their money, lose all their benefits, lose all that. And then what do you have? You have a false relationship because you chose to be superficial about it. So just something to think about. Give what you want to give. And that's all. So I'll see you guys soon. Just want to check in really quick. And once again, thanks for following me on Twitter. Peace.